building my Adafruit mini robot rover chassis. Start with these wonderful tiny, tiny DC motors. Unfortunately, I have big fingers and very small screws to manipulate here. See if I can get it without dropping a screw again. Progress. Of course, by the time I get all four done, I'll be a pro at getting these itty bitty screws in here. Snugging them up. Master wheel. Which I'm guessing from the way these. 
screws are countersunk. So there's the basic part of the chassis. Now we have the wheels and the rubber non slip. See here. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, trailing wheel seems to work. Now, I'm taking this a little further in this build. I've got a Raspberry Pi 2 with a Wi-Fi dongle. I've got some of the uh, board standoffs from Adafruit that are meant for standing off your board. I'm actually going to use them for mounting the Raspberry Pi to the chassis and then later I'll get some more to put under here to stabilize it a little more. For now
cables up. Okay. It's time to... Now I've added a couple small... They're actually pins out of something that I had laying in my junk drawer, but a couple little pieces of solid core wire would probably be just as effective. And this is an Adafruit, Adafruit motor controller. So this will be for my power. And I've got... Okay, knocked one on the floor. Some male-to-male -male jumper wires. Which I will run from the motor here. Now the nice thing about these So I'll hook that to motor one. Now I'll have to play with this once I get some power in the program running. May have to reverse one of these to... I mean, I could do it in code, but I'll probably do it in with the wires so that when I say motor forward it truly takes the motor forward. I'll have to find a nice way to tie these down later. Now another interesting little tidbit is for motor power is I've uh, taken this nickel cadmium 9.6 volt battery pack out of a uh, toy car <laughs> repurpose and a little UBEC which is basically a step down buck converter and I plug it into here and I can plug it into be the power supply for my motor driver and I'll find some way to tidy all this up and mount it to the motor, to the chassis here. I'll do that probably in another video. And then to power my Raspberry Pi, I bought one of these uh, 6600 LiPo cells from Adafruit as well. Oh, definitely going to have to play with balancing all that on the chassis somehow and I've got my power boost 1000 which I can run from my cell there I've mounted a little on off switch on it and I'll have to get myself a short micro USB or USB A I think they call it to micro USB cable but I'll show you how I did this all in a in the next video. Thank you for watching.